I'm Simon Baseline Smith, Technique Recordings DJ, producer, playing at Steamrollers in Bristol. Drum and bass night, Thursday night, should be big. It started for me way back in the early 1980s. I had the chance to play at a party. I wasn't a DJ, but I took my records down there and uh, smashed the dance. You know, I've seen a lot of different styles of music. I've gone through hip hop, electro, early house, Detroit techno, and then in 19... 88, I moved to Tenerife and DJed in Tenerife for three years and that was at a period of, in the music when a lot of rave stuff was uh, being put out, a lot of acid house and so for three years I was playing in Tenerife, eight hour sets every single night and that gave me the opportunity to fine tune what being a DJ was and my actual trade. <laughs> I came back to England in the early 90s and at that point I was lucky enough to get on some really really big raves like Fantasia, Perception, can't remember all the names, Energy, it was the early part of the rave scene and obviously you know it was an amazing feeling to play in front of like 10, 15,000 people. Around 1991 I decided that I wanted to start my own record label so I started a label called Absolute Two Records and straight away the label was a big hit signed uh, Dot Scott, Nucky, uh, put out some of my own tunes on that label all of them really went down really well, sales was good and uh, it was a very successful label for the four or five years that I ran that label I've always played drum and bass, particularly right the way through the 90s. I hooked up with Andy Drum Sound in 1999. We got on really well, started making tunes together and decided to um, start a record label. So Technique Recordings was born. In that period, we've released a number of big drum and bass tracks. We released an album in 2004 called The Nature of the Beast and it was nice to actually have the opportunity to put 12 tracks down, call it an album, get the whole project together, had really good backing from the drum and bass fraternity and uh, yeah the album was released on four piece vinyl and a CD. Also in 2004 we had a track called The Odyssey, yeah gave the tune to Groove Rider, he played it on Radio 1, it was a massive smash. Please don't call my phone. Everybody wanted the tune, but he held it back, held it back. There had not been an, a tune out on uh, Prototype for a number of years, so that was one of our finest moments as well. On the edge of all known existence. Fast forward to 2006, and it's all about the Street Technique LP. It's been about 12 months in the making and in the putting together of it. Got some massive artists on there. People like Ronnie Size, obviously everybody knows Ronnie Size, and you know he's put a track forward for this album. Three years ago, we remixed a track for him at the movies, which came out on his label, and um, it was kind of like you know you've looked after me and done something for me so I'm going to do something for you guys. We waited three years but he came up with the track called Friends and it's absolutely a club smasher. We've also got Tali on there, we've got Jay Magic on there, we've got some up and coming artists on the album, people like uh, Fetster from Australia, Perth, and he's an amazing tal talented up and coming producer. The next release on Technique Recordings, Street Technique Part 3, two-piece vinyl. It's had loads of wicked support, especially by uh, Zane Lowe on Radio 1. I think he's played it every week for like the last eight or nine weeks. We're getting emails about it. Uh, the track that he's really showed the most love to is a track called Cape Fear. We've taken the Street Technique brand and we've gone on a worldwide tour. We've gone to places like Russia, 
where the scene's absolutely amazing at the moment. It's really fresh, people are up for it. 15,000 people, really good, you know, stage production. Another favorite party where we took the tour to was uh, I Love Jungle in Paris. Uh, again, I've played in Paris a few times, but it's the first time I've played to like 3,000 people with, uh, you know, a really good production and uh, it was just good to be able to take the street technique, uh, sound, around the world, on tour, and uh, people were having it large, shall we say.